Hello and welcome back to another video. So I've got a day off midweek and um, I got the 39 bus to Bobby Tracy this morning. I've got off in Bobby Tracy and as you would have seen I had to get a coffee, good old Costa coffee. And uh, so today is just a day hike as you can probably tell by the rucksack. Um, it's a new rucksack, but I'll go through that a little bit later on. So today I'm uh, hoping to head up towards Lostly Cleave. Uh, someone who follows me on my Facebook page, uh, you know who you are. Um, they can't get out onto Dartmoor now, so they've been watching my stuff on Facebook and this is one of the places they wanted to come to. Um, sorry, one of the places they want me to come out and film, so I've come out to do it. Plus, I was thinking about doing it anyway. Uh, at the moment, I'm currently walking the old railway line. You'll probably see here. So, someone there, hold on. Sorry about that. So, yeah, as you can see, I've started from Bobby Tracy. I walk past the play park, great park for the kids. Um, we bring the kids out here quite often. It's a shame, we would love to live out here, but it's just a bit too expensive for us. But they've got everything, it's a great little town, great atmosphere. Um, like I said, they've got this park. They've also got the skate park here. The kids have been on there a few times. And if you really wanted to, you've got the exercise, outdoor exercise machines here too. So I've passed all that, as you would have seen. And I'm currently walking along this old railway line, so you're going under the bridge here. So I'm going to follow this up to Lustley Cleave. I've gone away, I haven't gone before. So. Let's see how we get on. Well, as you see, I've come across this old building. I come across one of these earlier on. As you can see in the picture here, it's an old ruin. It's um, been flattened. But just here um, is the old railway line, which I'm following. So you have this building here. Can anyone enlighten me as to what it is? Is it an old signal hut thing? Although I don't know why you would need a sing signal uh, thing here because it's an old, it's a single track. But yeah, any information would be great, thank you.
So about three quarters of the way up this really steep hill, I was absolutely knackered. Good job I was uh, using this smaller pack, smaller than my normal pack anyway. And yeah, I was absolutely knackered, so I sat down, a little breather on this bench. As you can see here, the stunning scenery from here. And uh, someone was there cutting the grass, keeping everything all tidy. And we was yapping, yapping for ages. Really, really nice bloke he was. So, Ken, if you're watching, hello, mate. Right, I'm up to Grand Nur, or Grand Nur Rocks. I don't think I'm going to be able to see much from here because it's all under tree canopy. But let's go up and have a look. I'm not staying up here that long. Look at these ants. Can you hear them? I really hope the microphone's picking this up. You can actually hear them all walking across the leaves. Here we are, one of the rocks. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to see much, to be honest with you. There's more up here. Brambles, ants. Fox or badger set. Well, I've just uh, climbed up here. And uh, look at this. Quite glad I walked up here now. Just all these uh, boulders resting up against each other. You would not want that coming down in you at all. Right, let's get up to the Sharpie Tour. Right, uh, quick little update. I, um, after the them rocks I just visited, I carried on up the hill, thinking, well, on the map it looked like there was a track. I wasn't sure if you could actually go down it or not. Got there and it's private land, so I couldn't, couldn't go down there, unfortunately. So I had to come all the way back again, said hello to Ken again. <laughs> he was having his lunch. And I uh, wait back down to the bridge. 
I sat there, had some lunch and filled up my water, um, my water bladder using the Soya Mini filter. I didn't film any of that because I've, I've been struggling to charge my um, phone because one of the kids has snapped the cable, power cable. So I'm having to hold the phone, hold the cable and the power bank in a certain position for it to charge, which is frustrating. But um, I've just come to a crossroad, well, on, we're on the track, and I'm just taking a little detour, although I'm running out of time. Um, someone wanted me to go and have a look at Heaven's Gate. So I'm just going to quickly nip up here, have a look, get some pictures and then come back down. Um, I'm cutting it short, I'm not going to go to where I've camped before. I'm going to do that on another video another day. I'm just going to go to Sharpie Tor and the uh, Logan Stone and head back. You know what I'm like, I'm always running out of time. Oh, it's absolutely stunning today. Really warm. So I see you at Heaven's Gate. I think I'm up to Heaven's Gate. I look at this for scenery. Bit steep walking up here, mind you, though. and I'm greeted by a pony. Lots of them up here. Stunning. Well, I had to be a little bit quiet up there because there was a lady up there and I didn't really want to disturb her. Just trying to walk past these slowly so I don't scare them. Trouble is I want to go down this path. Yeah, I think they could get out of the way now. So I'm past them now. <laughs> Fortunately I wanted to uh, come down here but the ponies kept on walking down here. there now. Yeah, that's uh, that was definitely worth going up to have a look. It's a shame there was someone up there. I would have spent a little bit longer up there actually. But, uh, I'd definitely be uh, coming back here again. Crossroads. We're gonna head off down there.
Okay, uh, it's uh, nearly two o'clock. I've um, decided to cut it short. Sharpie Tour is not too far up there, but I want to get up there, relax, take in the scenery. Um, so I, I'll just run out of time once again. So this will be the last bit of filming. I'm going to head back exactly the same way as I've come. It's a shame. The thing is, I've not really done many miles. I'll just have a look now. Ten point eight miles I've done, which, if I wasn't doing the filming, walking back and forth and visiting different little places, it would have been that many miles. But obviously, doing all the filming takes longer. So, yeah, if I quickly show you this one, this is my new bag. It's only a twenty-eight litre bag. It, it's um, reduced to forty quid, I think, uh, in trespass. It's slightly smaller than my other day um, day pack, but I think it's quite a good one. I, I can't remember all the specs. Um, I'm not really too bothered about with that. But the main reason for me buying this one is because of this. It's got this um, bit of mesh here. And you've got the frame that curves out or curves in, should I say? And I, I get sweaty really easily, so. This prevents you from sweating, it gives you airflow on your back, and I have to say, it's definitely worked. Although, I'm not that keen on it now. Now I've put it on, I've worn it, I've seen what I look like with it on. It just looks stupid, having this waste of space. But, like I said, it's kept my back from sweating. The only thing is, um, well, I use this as my work bag now. Um, I'm putting in my cash tray for, for bus driving and all my other little bits. It's quite hard to fit it all in because of the curvature. But other than that, it's not a bad bag. So, if you watched this far, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've definitely been, oh, I've definitely enjoyed being out here and filming. It's been an absolute stunning day. Really warm. Uh, also, um, my last video, I've had such positive comments of that um, from that video so I'd like to thank you all like from the bottom of my heart it really does mean a lot to me um, I'm a little bit embarrassed by some of the comments because they're just so nice um, but yeah so that is it I'm not sure when I'll be out again but uh, if you follow me on my Facebook page and Instagram, yeah, you see more, you see some pictures of this trip, and also I'll, I'll put up when I'm next out again. So once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Cheers.